Welcome back, members of the Wolfpack. It's your boy Grey Wolf back with another episode of Rise of the Ronin. This next quest you're about to do, Culture Exchange, should be taking us back on. Let's figure out, kind of figure out where we need to go. So if we follow this road here, yeah, if we follow this road here, it should take us where we got to go. So like I was saying before, see now there's no pro shogunite. So this is the anti shogunite soccer and this is their den. And it's the pro shogunite, this is their place. Yokohama Grand Villa and then the inn, the uh, soccer inn. And uh, right now there's no quest listed to do any of them. But I, as the game goes, you have to do both. So it's not necessarily a picking aside. side. There might be a picking aside, side like hey, if you kill this guy type deal at the end, but as the, it's seeming like as the quests go on, you just have to do both sides of the quest. So and that's what we're doing. We're doing whatever quests are, quests are available. I keep putting the S at the end of that quest. Is. All right, let's see. I don't know what this entails. Okay, oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Unlike most of the games I play, I did not like watch a bunch of uh, footage about this game beforehand. I, I, like, I think I mentioned it before when I was playing uh, Elden Ring. I usually watch footage on the games I play. Not necessarily to get an edge or anything like that, just because like I would just like to watch content creators. Uh, I was actually watching um, Afro Today and uh, C-Rex, and C-Rex was talking about how he is doing a blind playthrough of the game and he had to unsubscribe from Afro because the only boss that got spoiled for him was uh, Bale because Afro had posted a video about about uh, Bale and it popped up on his feed so he had to unsubscribe from Afro until after he beat Elden Ring and then subscribe back to him that way he wasn't getting spoiled by something and then Afro pretty much said the same thing he said all of his friends all his homies that are content creators that was playing uh, Elden Ring he unsubscribed from all of them that way he would he wouldn't get spoiled on anything. He can just go through and actually like do a blind playthrough of playing it. What could it be? And that, and that makes perfect sense for me. I'm one of the type of people I still have to experience it for myself. I can see it all I want to, but I still have to experience it. Yeah, it for y'all though. It my reaction isn't the same for y'all, but y'all don't see my face anyways. Not for now until I get my PC burnt. Uh, burnt. I'm gonna say until I get my PC built and stuff. But yeah, I still. I'm still gonna have a reaction of when I'm fighting it. It's just the, the reaction of when I see it is not the same. Cause like, okay, I already know this is coming. I know this guy is here. So that reaction isn't the best for y'all to capture, but that's more of a, a, uh, a see my face reaction anyways to, to, to those type of things. And I, I haven't picked up a sword and shield yet. Like, this is a, this is what's a saber, a saber and a shield, but I haven't picked up a shield at all yet. I just saw a most unsettling looking man entering the main hall. I am certain he is their leader. Well, are you all set to enter the temple? I'm ready. That French man looks like an American for sure. Then we shall proceed under cover of the darkness. They may be a disorderly lot. I'm gonna change my costume after this. I did change my hair, if you can't tell. I changed my hair and whatnot. Yeah, I changed my bottoms. I found some bottoms that match better. Okay, so now he's my boy. And it makes sense why these two people are the only two people I can get on my team right now because both of them are the only ones I did anti sugar now. Oh, Matthew Perry, I can get on my team too. Hmm. Excuse me. I got Gonzo's up pretty good, but he gives me more money when I have him. Increased damage with handguns. I don't even use handguns. Let's do jewels. Jewels. Because Jewels, we don't have a good bond with him yet. Because he just became our friend. Okay. Let's start this mission. Stay sharp. Alright. Let's take a stroll. All right, let me let me let me take an observation first. One, two, three. Four, five. Another dude down there. Six. Damn it! I didn't mean to do that. I landed. I landed kind of wrong. 
I tried to land on top of that, on top of the house, but I messed up. But that's okay, because we're gonna take it. Damn it. He threw his shield at his ass. That's fine. Okay. I wanted to land on the house, but I messed that up. Okay, we can get back up there. Because we're about to Spider-Man this guy. Spider-Man. Whoop. That's two of them. Let's see. That's what we're going to do to them. That's what we're going to do to them. Other one scared? Dead. Alright. I ain't gonna lie. Didn't even know he was there. Didn't even know he was there. I wish I could uh, grappling hook kill these guys, but I don't think I can like that. Like a predator hunting prey. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Assassin Creed Souls. Okay, I don't know if I have enough jump for that. Uh, I know this ledge is big enough for me to just. It is. Oh, so there you go. Yeah, good. So, cause I got that perk that that lets it. So when I do a like assassination thing, they still stay staggered enough for my partners to do an assassination thing too. Why would you aim on a dude that's way over there when you got a guy that's right here in front of you? That makes no sense. You're dead. Pretty sweet. I know. I appreciate the compliment though, bro. I ain't trying to be no, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, we're gonna have to. Okay, we'll jump on the house and we'll get him. That's probably a formidable guy down there. That's probably why he's sitting down like that. You so dead. Yeah. All right, let's let's go let's go back this way. Oh, I'm stuck. Let's go back this way. Oh, I ain't even see a guy. That guy up there. Huh. Damn it, he didn't die on the first hit. That's so annoying. That, that just messed, messed all the stealth up. Is he, am I still stealth from him? No, no. At this point, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, we got like four people on this now because of that. That, that, that one thing messed everything up, bro. Oh, I've been here before. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. I've been here before on accident. I was just walking. Well, I can't say on accident. I was just walking around. Came to this area. And there was nothing special here. And I was wondering why it was so big and there was so many enemies. But there was nothing special. Like, there was no big treasure chest. There was nothing like that around. And I, I, was, like, I, was, I was thinking to myself, I was like, this must be a quest uh, place. It has to be because this doesn't make any sense for all this stuff to be around here. And there to be nothing. Drill sound uh, Japanese right there. I don't think he's gonna walk all the way down here, just in case though. Just in case. 
Oh, we can get inside the main hall right there too. But we're gonna walk all the way around the building to make sure there's no uh, other formidable enemy around. Oh, he wasn't walk all the way around. Yeah, he would. He would. He would have got us. Dead now. Sitting down is probably a vulnerable guy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. I'm assuming this is the main hall, this big building. Oh, God. Oh, too late. Oh, that was real far. That's okay, you're dead now. I ain't even worry about you no more. Why? Why didn't you assassinate the guy? That makes no sense, bro. That, that, that's my whole thing of. I was trying to assassinate one dude, and then I would it, it would have automatically gave me the assassination thing to assassinate the next dude. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. I thought it was somebody sitting down in here. Oh, damn, bro. My bad. I know you were just taking a little scroll and I just messed that all up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. You ain't had nothing to do with this. My guy was just chilling, just walking around, minding his own business. Yeah, let's go. I found you. I was not timing that right at all. I was just, I was just pressing triangle for no reason. Good job. Let us find their head. First of all, don't tell me what to do. I need experience. I think I mentioned this on one of my streams before. There's a uh, manwa called like Latina Surge or something like that. I, I'll look it up in a, in a little bit. When I, if a cutscene pops up or something, but the thing's called like Latina Surge or Latin, Latin Surge, something like that. But it's, it's a manhwa, which is a Korean uh, comic, obviously. And it talks about something like how I'm doing, like how I keep running around trying to kill everything so I can get experience and stuff. Yeah, I did talk about this on stream one time before. There's people in, in that one in which they know that there's people from another world that get experience from killing other people. And now those people are being hunted because they. Oh, I was I wasn't I wasn't locked on them. I wasn't locked on them. Uh, 
it was my fault i wasn't locked on i wasn't locked on onto it, oh boy but there's people in that world Every, everybody can kind of like level up and stuff in a way or like oh they either born with a level okay it was one of the two they they either born with a certain level or they can level up and uh they know that there's people from another world that no matter who, i think it's everybody can level up is what it is but everybody else doesn't level up the same way like uh i'm gonna explain in a second they got me throwing on my words everybody else level up levels up by like fighting monsters or stuff like that or enemies but these certain people that got taken into the world they can level up by killing anybody so that'd be like they can be innocent civilians it can be monsters it can be whatever they, they get they gain experience from anything it's like some games how some games would do that like no matter what you kill you can still gain experience like if i kill a squirrel i'm gonna get experience if i kill a dog i'm gonna get experience if i kill a monster i'm gonna get more experience if i kill a human i'm gonna get more experience stuff like that that's how these people level up so but it's starting to the point where some people were, were abusing it and by abusing it i mean they were just running around killing the average folks that had nothing to do with anything just because it would give them experience Don't rush. so they started they started hunting these people when they seen them because of that i only got one that's crazy i don't really need to craft anything or do anything in general we're not how many of these i got i got i got way more than enough Oh, I switched to my spear too. Wait, where's my Naganata? Did I make sense? Sell my Naga. I sold my Naganata, my pole arm on accident. I did not mean to sell that. Well, I broke it down probably on accident. I did not mean to do that because I wanted to be able to switch back and forth between those. Oh well. No, I didn't. It's still right here. Why wasn't I? I think I'm not able to upgrade it because it's not equipped to me. That's what it is. I was about to say, I was about to get a little upset. I was like, dang, man, I was not supposed to sell that, but I did anyways. Let's sell this stuff. Also, I appreciate everybody that always jumps to my screen or anybody that watches my videos on YouTube. Man, it's much appreciated. Like I said, this is something I want to do. <sighs> I always wind up doing that, bro. I always wind up doing that. This is something I want to do when I'm done with my main job when i'm uh when i retire from my main job which is which could be here like in the next four years i could wind up retiring and uh this is what i would like to do for a career after that so that like i can i can uh basically like, do what i want to like everybody, everybody everybody always talks about doing the job that you want to do and it doesn't feel like work. When I'm doing this, it doesn't feel like work. I mean, obviously, this isn't really work because I'm not. I'm not getting paid at all for this at all. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just putting money in. I'm not. I'm not making any money at at the moment. We will say my my YouTube is not profitable to me. Uh, I believe at some point it will be. There'll probably be a point which is it's it's not monetized yet. Like I've been advertising myself and whatnot, and that's how I have my following that I have. But it's not like a great built following to the point where people are constantly coming to watch me and constantly giving me comments and constantly giving me views. Like I did an advertisement and that brought people in, but it's not those those views aren't constant. And so those views aren't making any uh, substantial uh, money for YouTube to be like, hey, yeah, man, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll basically like make you a partner so that way you can make money from uh, your views and whatnot. But. I'm still appreciative of. Oh damn! Get in my way, and I'll cut them down. I'm still appreciative of what of whatever I get in general. After me. What's this? Brother, you are a human. There's no way you're. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He, he should not. He should not be able to take this much damage away from me when I'm over level for this quest. I don't remember what the the level of this quest is, but I do know that it's not level 18 or 19, whatever level I am. I wasn't expecting that one. Oh, 
I also feel like he should be getting burned way easier. Like, he's not wearing any armor. He's. My man's, my man's, my man's wearing a, a kimono. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. My partner's helping me out. That'd be cool. Ooh, I'm done. There we go. But yeah, once this gets up, like I would love to make, and like I, I've spoken time and time and time again, I don't need this to be crazy profitable. Irrelevant. The issue isn't about if they're good or bad. How the county is. The first American consulate was in this village, along with the outbreak of cholera. We should never have had dealings with foreigners. It endangers us all. This is a belief I am willing to fight for. And it is 18-something, 18 1850-something. 18 I looked back on this, the timeline and stuff, and was reading about it, and they were talking about the freaking uh, uh, expulsionists, basically. The, and they were talking about how extreme they were when pushing back. And this is, this is based on, loosely based on, of real life and stuff that was happening in Japan, they they pushed back super heavily against welcome in foreign foreign uh, foreigners. And I said in my last video, they still kind of like push against. They still want like, they they have an actual word for it, but they still like push back against foreigners. And like even if even to the fact if if I was half Japanese and I was born in Japan, but my skin is black, I would never be considered Japanese. Because and people wouldn't even believe that I was Japanese. They're like, there's no way you're not Japanese, even if I speak only Japanese like I don't even speak English I speak only Japanese I was born in Japan raised in Japan my entire life there's going to be a lot of people that still don't consider me Japanese because I don't look the way they look I'm, I'm not I'm not dressing the way they look like nothing about me is the same as them you have to be the exact the same as them and, and for them to be considering you Japanese and with no difference to it or you're just weird at that point but that's that's a, a whole different story mob has obeyed their leader's order and dispersed. Our plan worked. Very well then. About my curious bodyguard. They were captured in Yokohama by Commodore Perry some years ago. They were taken back to the United States and held in custody. We were deeply relieved when we realized they wanted to cooperate. How the hell should I know? I just hired them to protect me. However, I did hear a great deal about Japan on our voyage over. Working for me was their idea. I'm not such an imbecile to try to strong-arm them. And thanks to that, we were able to conclude the Commerce Treaty. But then they up and vanished. Well, that sums up what I know. Any questions? Tell me about that claw. That mechanical arm was made in the United States. It can fire shells and steel wire. Quite the device, I must say. Nigga, that's all, that's all you got to say about that? Well, it was the very day after we signed the treaty. Didn't even bother to collect their pay. Come to think of it, I heard the British might have also requested their services. Oh, so now he's working as a mercenary. They saying they because they don't know if I made the character a female or a male, so they just they in it. Now, that move just like the game doesn't recognize if I'm a female or a male. Should you need to know any more, save it for another day. Fukuzawa, I am going to escort the Consul General to a safe location. So now he sounds Once more French. Settle down, we'll make contact via the Grand Villa. I 
I think we made a good connection there. I look forward to learning more about the United States. I plan to continue my education there one day. Showing Yoshida could not realize his dream, but I fully intend to make it happen. Uh, oh, so he knows Yoshida? All right, we'll just go with this one. I most certainly do. But it's just such a shame. Showing Yoshida is wanted for conspiracy against the Shogun. But by now I imagine he has already been apprehended. Now I shall take my leave. Until next time. Go ahead and get my trophy. Kadiru. The crazy thing is, so the one the, the crazy thing about this is that uh, I'm not even out of chapter one yet. This I think I'm still I'm still in chapter one. I think there's three chapters to this game, and I'm still in chapter one. But I do know I have to beat this before the end of month. Have I not made myself clear? Showing Yoshida, because the Star Wars games comes out at the end of the month. purpose no longer. That is why I urge our people to rise decisively as one. It is they who must build this nation anew. What can the people possibly do? They must stand behind the Shogunate, or we all fall to the foreigners. You wish to keep our country safe? Then the people must fall in line. See, that's the thing too. The Shogunate is not against the people. So They're just saying, hey, follow us. We're going to make sure y'all protect it. And, and the anti sugar is like, no, don't follow them. They need to be pushed out because they're trying to welcome the foreigners in. It's going to be bad for us. You must be punished by execution. Take him away. It's like, look, bro, like we're not we're not trying to be bad people. Like, we're not trying to. We're not trying to ruin Japan. We're just trying to help a Japan advance is what the Shogunite is doing. But the anti-Shogunite is just like not recognizing that and not caring at all about that. Unlock some new techniques. Wish they had like a treasure sniffing thing. Let's see. Okay, so I got a lot of side quests that I can do now. And I have one main quest. It's on level 11. I'm on level 19. You see how hard that dude was what, hitting me, even though he's only, this, that was only like a level, I don't remember quest, but I know it wasn't like a high level quest. But, all right, let's, um, I'm going to take care of this guy's quest. So let's teleport over here. But we'll pop back on with the next video and the next video will continue on. And it looks like we'll be helping. Yeah, we'll be helping the anti sugar uh members in the next quest. That's what it's looking like. But I'm going to do all these side quests. I'm going to do this side quest. I'm going to do this side quest. I'm going to do the one that we're over right now. I'm going to do all those side quests. The thing is, too, I'm assuming some more of the air is going to get unlocked. I, I'm assuming since we, this is all in chapter one stuff. Chapter two is probably some other stuff unlocked because there's 44 pictures that we can take and i've done all of the collectible things here like all of these things are 100 percent. i think there's probably one area somewhere that's 100 percent that i don't have access to yeah but all, all the areas are 100 percent. so i've collected all the collectibles and everything in every single area that we have access to so i'm assuming chapter two is going to unlock some other areas or either unlock some more stuff because you can see there's two more ticks right there in this area and it's like three more ticks in this area. Yeah. What the? I didn't even see that. I need, to, I need to come over here. I'm going to do that then afterwards then. But there's a couple more ticks. And each each one of the areas almost has a, at least like one or two more ticks. So chapter two is probably going to unlock some more stuff to it. And then we can, we can go from there. But that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate y'all tagging along, man. man. If I can leave a like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, for y'all your, your members on YouTube and whatnot. And run this up so we can really make something out of ourselves. Uh, I really appreciate it. But uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one.